Welcome to Academic Solutions, hashtag making it easy. I am Remember Chiloni and I will be your maths tutor. So today's topic will be on whole numbers. Firstly, we are going to answer the question, what are natural numbers? Well, in grade 7, you were taught about natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. In this topic, we are going to be focusing on addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of natural, whole numbers, and integers. Now, natural numbers are numbers which start from 1 to infinity. And by infinity, we, we mean it does not end. So, this numbers um, excludes 0. So, looking at our number line on the screen, the number starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, and they continue till infinity. So what are whole numbers? Whole numbers are just natural numbers. The only difference is that we are including 0 in the natural numbers. So our whole numbers, looking at the number line, it will start from 0, 1, 2, 3, and then continues till infinity. Whole numbers can be compared using the symbol greater than and then less than or equal to. For example, we have 100 and then we have 350. But then we know that 100 is less than 350. So we're going to use the symbol of less than to compare these two numbers. So we're going to say 100 is less than 350. The second one will compare 120 and 80. But then we know that 120 is greater than 80. Therefore, we are going to use the symbol greater than. The same applies um, on the third one, which is 200 and 150. We know that 200 is greater than 150. Therefore, we are going to use the greater than symbol. Okay. Number properties help us to simplify calculations and to develop a sense of numbers. It is important to note that there are three properties to numbers and an additional property called the identity property. We are going to look at the following table, which is basic number properties table. The first property will be commut commutative property. And we're going to use the example on the right hand side. So for example, for addition, when we're doing addition, um, we're going to say A plus B will be the same as B plus A. And then for multiplication, A times B is the same as B times A. And then we have the second one, which is associative property. When we're doing addition on associative property, a plus B in bracket plus C is the same as A plus open bracket B plus C. And then when we do multiplication, A times B inside a bracket multiplied by C is the same as A multiplied by open bracket B times C. We also have identity property and we also have distributive property. Now we are going to use this property in in, in, in this activity, so the first one, um, please note that all the answers have been highlighted for you in red. So the first one, which one of the following is not a whole number? Now remember what we said about whole numbers. We said they start from 0, 1, 2, 3, up until infinity. So anything below 0 is not a whole number. So in this case, we have option A, which is 5, option B, which is minus 3, option C, which is 3, and option D, which is 25. But then all these numbers, I mean, answer A, answer C, and answer D, they are all above 0. And then we only have B, which is below 0. And remember what you said about whole numbers? They can be less than 0. So minus 3, B, is our answer. Moving on to the next question, which one of the following is not a natural number? Now remember what we said about natural numbers, they start from 1 
2, 3 up until infinity. Now we have minus 2 here, which is below 0. And the rest of these numbers, A, C, and D, are above 1. So minus 2 is not a natural number. So B is the correct answer. 1.3. State whether the following is true or false. 5 plus 7 equals 7 plus 5 illustrates the commutative law of addition. This is true. Remember what we said about commutative law, commutative property. We said A plus B is the same as B plus A. So in this case, 5 plus 7 will be the same as 7 plus 5. So our answer is going to be true. Now let's move on to the next one, 1.4. 7 plus open bracket 4 plus 2 close bracket equals 13 so 7 plus 4 close bracket plus 2 will be equal to 13 and this is associative property so in this case we are going to add what's inside the bracket first 7 plus 4 that will give us 11 then plus 2 that will give us 13 which makes this associative property let's move on to the next one calculate the following without using a calculator 16 multiplied by 6 plus 16 multiplied by 4 now we are going to separate um, the whole of this so we're going to have 16 multiplied by 6 inside brackets plus 16 multiplied by 4 inside brackets. So this is what we're going to get. Now 16 multiplied by 6 gives us 96 plus 16 multiplied by 4 gives us 64. So we're going to have our answer as 160 after 80, 96 and 64. Now thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and most importantly, I hope you understood. Thank you.